How's it going everyone? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome back to another weak spot guide. As you can tell, it's today going to be the Kran Vaan. Now the Kran is a hold down monster, we all know that. Um, and hopefully in this video I'm going to show you how to deal with them. Um, when they are hold down, yes there isn't much you can do about it. Um, but hopefully I can show you kind of the weaknesses of the tank. And maybe then you'll be better versed with what it can do and what it can't do. So straight away, we are in the 430U. Um, I do have a mod installed, which actually shows you the precise kind of pen that is uh, being displayed. On the left here, you have my penetration for my shell, which in this case is 252 millimeters of pen. And then you have the pen that would be required on average. Um, obviously you can high or low roll the pen depending on that. Um, but as you can see, if you go all the way over here, 350, but as you go through, it changes. So keep an eye on the right hand side number and that will display how much pen you're going to need. I decided to use this instead of going to Tank Shiji um, from now on, just because I want to try and make these as concise and compact as possible um, and not waste too much time. Now, speaking about not wasting any more time, let's get straight into this. As you can tell, it is a bit of a monster in the turret department. You're going to need, if you're going to use APCR, you're going to need like 350, something like that, to reliably go through the turret of this thing. If you're using heat, because it's at an angle, it actually doesn't like it. Because as you can see, it actually goes up and you're not gonna pen it, even with 340 heat. Um, Jagdpan 100 with heat, you can go through it, uh, obviously, but even then you might actually bounce sometimes depending on what he's doing. And he's never going to be sitting just like this right in front of you, allowing you to do whatever he wants to you. So there is a plate under here. If you have a super high pen gun um, that does have enough pen, so more than 350, you can potentially go through it. As you can see, it's about a 50-50 for the 430U. Um, that being said, this obviously does get affected if it's above you. So, yeah. Because the Quran gets such good gun depression as well, it's going to be a problem. You might as well not bother shooting at the turret. Now, if we go and talk about the hull of the vehicle, though, it's pretty easy to pen it. I'm not going to lie. You only need about 210, 220 millimeters of pen, um, and you can pretty much go through it every single time. Um, there is no real kind of issues. The only issue that could arise is if you go for like these um, and you, you hit one of these and get critical damage. Um, so keep that in mind. The rear of the tank can be penned with HE. As you can see, green pen marker. We have 68, it is only 39 millimeters thick. Um, and you can overmatch the engine deck. Um, the thing is, all of this right here, all of the engine deck is just a completely green zone. It is penable by anything. It's only 18 millimeters thick. So you can go through pretty much reliably every time with any gun. The side scraping capabilities of this tank is actually quite good, especially if you reverse side scrape, because as you can see, yeah, that's pretty much just not going to happen. Uh, it doesn't matter like where you're hitting it, you're just not going to pen it. And that's at a decent angle as well. Like, that's a pretty decent angle. Um, if you go wider, of course, you eventually do get around and being able to pen it. Um, the exact same thing goes for the side. The rear of the turret and the sides of the turret are super, super weak. Um, even if it is angled slightly towards you, on the side of the turret, you can pretty much pen it every single time. Even that this kind of angle, like look at that. You go back a little bit, it's a green pen marker. The sides are just stupidly thin um, and you can pen it pretty much every single time if he shows too much. Now, I believe we've all been in a situation similar to this. The crown is on a ridge line and is hold down and all that you can see is the cupolas. This is the only thing you can hit. You can hit them as long as you're within close range and you've got an accurate enough gun. Obviously at further away ranges, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to actually hit them. The left Capola seems to be more reliable to hit. I'm, I don't really know why, um, but usually the left is a little bit better. 
Um, I think that maybe it's because, like, just the modeling and stuff, but it seems that this is a bit more exposed than this side. Um, so keep that in mind. Also, concer concerning the cupolas, the very, very top is not a weak spot. If you hit the very, very top, it is not going to pen. It's just going to do critical damage. So always aim a little bit below and you will go through. So, yeah. That's all I can really t say about the Quran, to be honest. Like, I wish you luck because you're going to need it. Yeah, if it's hold down, you have to either hit the cupola or wait until he goes and shows his side to shoot another enemy, for example. And if you're in a tank that doesn't have the hold down capabilities, do not challenge this thing. Like, unless you really, really have to. So, what does the E3 look like compared to the Quran then? Um, well, with the stunner rounds, nothing's going to really change because you can still pen the, the hull pretty much everywhere. Um, you do have the chance to go through here, obviously, but you're going to need 314 to 320 pen. Um, so you could hire all the pen and get lucky and go through, and the rest of the turret is not really going to work. So, yeah. However, you press the 2 key, and uh, you can pretty much go through every single time through underneath here. And, uh, yeah. You can also, there is a chance, obviously, that you could pen up here, but it's quite slim. So you're going to, it is a 50-50 as you can see. Um, but if you go down a little bit, you can pretty much just pen it pretty reliably. Um, so as long as you're below the uh, lower half of the, the decals, if they have them, that's a good way of telling, um, you can pretty much pen the crown. If you have a little bit of luck. And of course, the only other way to pen it is if you hit the cupolas, but on flat ground, it's not going to be the easiest thing. So, yeah. To recap, if it's above you and it's aiming at you, shoot the cupolas. If it's not and it's in flat ground, try and shoot the hull. If you've got enough pen, you can go directly below the gun. And if you can see the hull, shoot the hull because you're going to pen. So hopefully this video was useful to you. If it was, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think about the Quran. I wouldn't say it's broken or OP. Like, it's just... If you rem if you made the turret weak, it will just be a useless vehicle. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. And uh, as always, I'll see you on the next one.